Oh, baby, I am the king of Bollywood. I'm good, too good. Hit ke guarantee hoon jo bili ke warranty. Okay, so this is a podcast that we are recording. We don't have a name yet, so we're just going to put it up as untitled film podcast or whatever. Not a film podcast. Uh, so uh, we are going to discuss a Hindi movie today, and also. just so we're clear we are going to go in and out of hindi and english so do with that as you may and we are ankit and anup and we are going to discuss a movie here today uh, the yeah today we are discussing the movie king of bollywood from 2004 directed by piyush ja and starring om puri sofi dal and murli sharma So, uh, how much do you know about the director? I really don't know anything about the director. I haven't seen any of his other movies. So, so I, I was looking him up uh, uh, yesterday. So, his whole stuff is kind of weird. He, he was a writer before, and then he got into like, or he actually was directing before, and then got into writing. I think it was like in and out, in and out sort mm-hmm. of thing. So now he's just writing novels, and I saw like a promo he cut for that, like to promote that mm. on his YouTube. And it was really weird, like uh, how how it was cut. I don't know. I mean, speaking of really weird, this this movie is kind of uh, an artifact because mm, I don't think anything like this. Do, uh, do you remember we we actually watched some of his like first movie? Uh, what, what yeah, the Chalo America. That yeah. was quite bad. Yeah, I mean we saw that on the NFTC so, website. Yeah, and it's streaming for free. I think it's cinemas still, of India. Yeah, cinemas of India, and it's still, uh, I think, streaming for free right now as well. So, I don't know. Uh, uh, that was kind of that was weird that as was well. That was really bad. And uh, his successor movie after this, uh, I don't know if that's what it's called, but. Mm. Uh, the kashmir thing the sekandar sekandar yeah so that i saw like bits of it uh, it was up on youtube mm-hmm. so it's really like that's also really bad it has that kid who used to do that jalebi ad like way back mm-hmm. also he used to direct ads at some point so i, I don't know if there's some yeah, connection there. that connection yeah jalebi jalebi ad and him yeah. doing ad that's a connection yeah, he directed him and he casted him because whatever Let's get on with the film now. Yeah, uh, that that sort of history doesn't really interest me because uh, I don't think that his pedigree has anything to do with what this movie is. Because this movie seems like a very, again, a very unique kind of thing, a very artifact kind of. It it seems like an artifact because it. I don't think anything like this has been produced since then. I mean, there have been a lot of mockumentary style movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, there was one called uh, "The President Is Coming." Have you seen that? Yeah. So that's that's one that comes to mind. Uh, also, this style of like uh, movie where you're trying to like go so surrealistically over the top and try to uh, push it as a satire. Uh, if you've seen Quick Gun Morgan. that had a very similar style to it and i really like that one as well because of its whole uh interconnected sketch comedy kind of thing that it was trying to do and this is also like that but it has a long coherent thread throughout it but i haven't seen that movie so i can't say and i i as for coherency it's fine coherent why is but like there are a lot of logical leaps that you're taking throughout the movie as you would with any bollywood movie i guess so yeah so that that sort consistent. of like uh, meta commentary it tries to do on itself like it's I, whatever it's portraying it's happening in this movie itself like the whole uh, thing that it's talking about in inside the movie how stories are developed how deals are done and shit like that it seems like that has happened with this movie as well the writing process it's like so uh, haphazard and like just things happen because they want to happen <laughs> that sort of thing I I don't see that. Uh, there was there was also this another movie. Uh, I don't see much of it as deliberate or something, because uh, the director seems like very 
genuine where the place where he comes from in other movies he has done right it seems very like um, well i haven't seen his other movies i mean i can't comment on at that, least so. at least the kashmir one the bits i saw like seem very like he he that was a, a totally serious movie as compared to his other works mm-hmm. those were like sort of comedy very when you're doing whatever like this sort of like that but it seems like he's not or even with that interview that i saw of his book thing he's actually writing thrillers now so that's kind of weird shift the mm-hmm. to take from uh it, it doesn't really seem like he, he's been uh, kind of you know doing commentary or something like that he doesn't seem like a per- person who is capable of that it doesn't See, matter if the person is capable of or not because we are discussing the movie right now and i think this movie should be seen as like an individual thing because again the only other movies that come to mind which are similar to this are Lions of Punjab have you seen that yeah that's really good yeah uh, it seems similar to that it seems similar to uh, the president is coming it seems similar to there there haven't been a lot of like i, I don't know even with those two movies that you have quoted like those are really good in their like production they're, style they're good not... but they're they're more like it's it's kind of like a colonial hangover kind of thing with those movies which is present in here as well This yes yeah i know i understand i mean that's that's where the similarity comes in for me because like it's people speaking in english as we are right now mm-hmm. uh, but it's like it's it's this fetishism of like white people it's like it's the fetishism of something which is happening outside of india it's it's like some sort of association with the diaspora indian diaspora which exists outside and what uh, the conservative nature of their culture as compared to what, how indians are right now and stuff like that do, do you see any similarities between these movies at all mm, not not really Lo- loins of punjab uh, i don't remember very well but like I remember liking it. That's yeah. the extent of it. <laughs> But the president is coming in that it was mostly very Indian centric as compared to like this or even Lawrence of Punjab because it had mostly Indians uh, as actors. There it, it wasn't at all like uh, trying to cater to a foreign audience. There. I don't know maybe. through and through at least. It like wasn't this. it wasn't any sort of Indian language. Let's. Let's get back to this movie rather than discussing other movies. So, yeah. uh, what do you think about the mockumentary style in this movie? Do you have anything to say there? It's really bad. It's uh, just, I mean, I didn't like it at all. Like it could have been done away with, and it could have been a movie, just a movie. Do you it, think that would have worked it. better within the, the 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 whole satire and like the over the top surrealism that it's trying to push do you think it would have worked without the mockumentary style it i don't see the satire first of all like so it uh, you don't see the satire or is it, it so gets... over the top that you can't even see that as satire or is it like being over the top is what the norm is in bollywood and you can't like reconcile those things but it isn't over the top it would need budget for that it trying to be a mockumentary and uh, over the top thing is kind of like in, in at odds with itself right like it's not uh, i'm not talking about over the top as in like some sort of glamour nonsense i'm talking no, about it's, over it's, the top in the sense to, of acting it's trying to show grandioseness right like the grandioseness that goes into a, a production of a bollywood film or a bollywood actor yeah. or like a superstar yeah right So it doesn't seem apparently there in any sense. Like by the budget-wise of film, like it's it's like really low budget, and it's yeah. See, the low budget aspect of it is so interesting to me because it adds so much to it. Like rather than take away from it, there, there are some funny moments. Uh, I really like that Baba character that yes. there. Like that's the probably the only you know good part of it. one of the good parts yeah but the cheapness of it is like so uh, so well uh, dealt with because it it adds to the fact that he is he is not actually wealthy the the actor no but so, he is the it's it's not about that 
that is the point there like he, he is wealthy in the canon of the film right no he is not he, that's the he, thing he is no if he was then he could have like totally financed his own movie and it would i mean he is literally paying or he could have yeah, there there is some dialogue in the middle where the guy who uh, i don't know his name the guy who play, played party in office of office of power uh, yeah so he he says something in the line of like you don't a, a superstar doesn't pro- produce his own old movie or something when they lose yeah, a producer yeah but that's that's the point. thing right they're trying so, to cover up for his uh, him being washed up and like yesterday's news or whatever like that's that's what the thing is like the whole language aspect of it is also quite interesting but the cheapness thing i would say that it's the the low production budget it adds to it in my opinion because there are certain scenes when you see uh, he's trying to make the movie uh, in in um, in a foreign location and he's when he's making the movie in in, uh, in uh, uk mm-hmm. and he's dressing up this old english uh, place as being a college indian college or something that like that sort of surrealist aspects of it 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 the the cheapness of the production there it it plays into the cheapness of the production of the movie itself inside inside that mockumentary aspect and so i there was that one scene where uh, there's this village thing that they're trying to show and that was probably the best scene there yeah but one like of the best scene <laughs> that and the ending scene yeah but in like, there it's apparent you can see in the background that they have dressed up this old english place as like a village house like it's those sort of moments that exist like the attention to detail in the background that i'm saying the that's intentional and <laughs> i thought it was detail. really i thought it was really intentional because there was a lot of attention to detail in the background and if it weren't for the mockumentary aspect of it i don't think that could have been captured otherwise i no. i just didn't like it so it's like a personal choice there like the cheapness cheapness uh, addition of being a mockumentary it's just doesn't the whole aspect of him recording through hidden cameras like it's so like uh, whatever slap dash that he's doing it, it's like over periods of times and like he's never seen changing the camera or something like that or like that's never explain what's happening there and that doesn't need to be explained that's just a convenience of plot or whatever it's i mean there are a lot of conveniences thing, right? of plot Th- that's a lot of that is happening here so it's kind of like i i get I lost mean, in there it's 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 supposed to be an over the top thing right i mean it's supposed to be from the get go like from the first scene itself it's trying to show like how indian actors are perceived to be more than just being actors right that they are fired yeah yeah so it 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 is commenting on the over the top nature of everything and like um what did you think about like the whole aspect of him playing three generations and just wearing a different wig for that like the whole don't don't you think that's commenting on like the whole nature of Bollywood actors who are in their fifties now, still playing like really young characters or whatever now. Yeah, but not in the same film. A... Yeah, but that's the whole surrealist over the top aspect of it. Like it's trying to portray those things through heightening whatever is happening in in reality, right? I thought it was really funny. Like those those interstitial it's, scenes where he's they're trying to. I mean, it's to, not really funny or whatever. Like it's it's the serv in service of what the story is is now. Like how convoluted it it is, and all like it feels really improvised. Most of it, like it just. I don't think it's improvised, but like the interstitial parts where they're trying to show the movie itself. Mm. Uh, I thought those were really really well done and like those capture the ethos from like the old that's, that's another thing right like the the access somehow that the documentary maker is getting there hmm. is just like too much i mean uh, on certain aspects like he's just recording the whole film at some point and like he has it and like <laughs> they, they, they don't stop him really i don't know i mean it didn't break my immersion at all like because i no, was so with with it trying to like have those demarcation where it is film and documentary 
with the aspect ratio change and all that okay. it, it didn't it didn't bode well really that's the point here like the things it's trying to do with a mockumentary okay. as a mockumentary is really bad it's poorly done well without the mockumentary form we wouldn't have like this insider access thing that we have in this movie like the whole from the storytelling perspective to the camera work that and the behind the scenes things that it's showing mm-hmm. those are the sorts of things which i don't think like apart from luck by chance or like those sort of movies mm-hmm. uh, uh, it has been shown in quite this detail yeah but if they just remove the veneer of that and just have someone come in and interview like as as someone who's writing a story or something mm-hmm. on the person it would have been about the same right like the outcome they could have just shown I those no i mean it, uh, on on camera it works better because it shows it shows rather than tells there are a lot of details in this movie which I, are i don't know if, like it's just so over the top in that sense so for if you introduce a camera in certain aspects of your life or like certain like moments hmm. people freeze up and people stop talking it's like uh, you know they they won't be as open as to like uh, a candid interview or something like that which can be uh, you know adjusted according to your needs or whatever and what are you referring to here like specifically with respect to this movie no i am talking about how in the face the camera is and all that and how candid these people are being on camera and it your have you never like seen a reality just, show like for the past 2 3 decades a reality show is different than this like they they How have signed on to like? be an asshole or whatever on uh, like camera like it's not yeah being an asshole that reminds me of the fact that this movie is like i would say 90% of it at least is really unproblematic i would say that there's no really offensive stuff in here and the way that the things are being shown is not is not especially regressive i would say because it's so over the top that it's trying to like say that it's a mirror or something and i don't think that there was anything in here which like apart from a few aspects i would say that it's really not that bad in those aspects I mean, it doesn't say anything about it. Does that just blanket make it better, or I don't know? It is like putting forward that whole issue of sexism in the industry or whatever, but like in a very like very playful sort of way, or like very matter of fact kind of way, like the whole uh, him just. or like these people actually like it on certain levels that him being a sleaze to like whatever his coworkers are hmm aren't those just played off for laughs or whatever yeah i mean everything is played off for laughs in this movie so even the uh, his relationship with his wife and his relationship with his uh assistant and and shit like that it's all played for laughs and i would i would agree with you that it uh, on a certain uh, level it needs seriousness in those aspects like the fact that there was one uh, one scene where this guy is that, uh, that uh, is a thing the mockumentary style doesn't serve to the film at all right like that's that's the thing that's i i think it absolutely it doesn't add does. any gravitas to the film like it doesn't try to be serious in any way shape or form until like the end and that to in a very like half as a kind of way just to have an ending ending like says if someone sat him down the director uh, right uh, it's the same person uh, uh, and said ki the, there need to be three parts to the film beginning end and middle or whatever and that's how he puts his stuff forward like it's very matter of fact everything that it's been portrayed like there was this one scene where the writer is being interviewed one of the writers mm. and he's talking about how these old <laughs> these old uh, the old guard essentially is trying to make these romantic college movies when they should be making like respectable movies or whatever i don't know those those scenes were really hacky as well the one they did with the, any other third party people who weren't directly involved in this person's life 
at that juncture uh, th- those were like whatever in service of having some sort of semblance of a mockumentary there it doesn't serve well to the format is all i'm saying this well what do you think about uh, the fact that it's pretending to be the movie itself is pretending to be kind of garbage like pretending to be what bollywood is right it's pretending to be that on a on a certain level yeah, so how do you pretense, distinguish that pretense and the actuality are so far in wide like the difference is so like what large what what do you mean by actuality here? this this character is so so out there out there being it's so over the top yes you you wouldn't find this you wouldn't find this in grounded reality in like this so form reality is not grounded though especially when it comes to bollywood there's no there's no like tether connecting it to any sort of reality it's as as like the whole cliche goes like in the movie itself it's been said like it's whole heightened magic or whatever this bollywood thing like it's how how detached from reality is the 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 whole uh, movie this movie if it's if it if in reality it it's so untethered from anything that actually exists like people that actually exist yeah but then why do you need the mockumentary format as well if it, i'm just saying that there are some things which try to comment on some sort of like garbage right i mean it's uh, the the movie itself is saying that doesn't have any sort of reverence for bollywood as such right it's it doesn't have seem to have some sort of love or anything for bollywood right it doesn't have some sort of like you know you know this this thing which happens where if even if some someone is trying to like make a joke on some other like inside bollywood if there is some sort of like satire or anything over some uh, anything that came came previously it 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 is sort of reverential it it is sort of like not oh not cutting enough huh oh my ji yeah yeah so yeah, no, no. do you think that exists in here that it's some sort of reverential thing to the 80s movie stars or 90s movie stars do you think the aspects in this movie where his old movies are being shown or clips or of this new movie are being shown that they have some sort of like love for that sort of i do do you think any other satire which exists like om shanti om if you can take for example that has such a reverence for old style of that, bollywood that, right that isn't a mockumentary though like it's just it it is like it is literally a you, homage and no, they say it up front like it's not a, yeah but it is portraying that that sort of like that past or the golden era or whatever as some sort of thing which was better right that some sort of nostalgic nonsense right i mean here there is no love for whatever they are saying right whatever they are portraying do, which do you think is better like the reverential thing like or i don't care either way like it's just bad bad film at the end of it like so either it's taking a piss out of it or like it's Or do you think it is taking the piss here? It is taking a piss, but in a very haphazard, very like incoherent kind of manner. Like it's, what? What? It's not very. Uh, can you give me any particular thing where it seems like that they're, they're taking a piss out of you? You don't think it's taking a piss? No. It's, it's I think. Reverential. I think it's no, no. It's not. That's the thing that it exposes the inner workings of Hollywood hmm. without, like. without being either overtly totally like uh, against what the what bollywood stands for or being like totally for it and being like kesasi in some way like it's it doesn't it doesn't seem that way to me either so the insider access part of it that feeds into the part where like they're they're trying to show like how it hap- used to happen and how it is happening i mean it's more than a decade old now the movie so how it was happening now so it 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 just shows it i mean there's where i, I where i think the mockumentary aspect kind Again, of okay and it shows necessary. it very poorly in a very uncoherent manner like the those shots where the back end things are happening are very like over the top and like 
they don't add to the narrative okay they do add to the narrative but like the a- narrative that you think is happening there right like you think that the, uh, those things were happening or like those back end deals are as they are pro- portrayed in the film in some way shape or form but like it's it's not it's not that caricaturized or like uh, whatever okay one one other film i was uh, thinking of discussing was miss lovely it no in in that movie also like there are aspects of uh, like retro aesthetic right like it's taking the aesthetic from old movies and it's trying to show it in a very modern and dark kind of way right and it, it's it's trying to like show where i mean do you see any parallels between this and miss lovely like especially in the in the aspects of sound design or and, no 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 that's that's so much like leaps and bounds better than this like it's it's very like cartoony I'm, I'm sort talking, of i'm talking about like aesthetic. comparing the aesthetic there i'm g- talking about comparing the uh, the whole bollywood thing of like being trapped in the 80s or whatever that sort of thing but it this isn't trapped in the 80s it's just a star that was popular in those eras or whatever 90s 80s and now he's a monster has been yeah but so, in, in every every place in this movie where they are being shown on this set they are being shown in the movie itself that's being shown within the documentary the whole uh, sets that being shown the, the locations that being shown the the props that are being shown mm. all of those aspects don't you think that feeds into that like even even he's if he's making a movie in 2004 Mm. that has the aesthetic of the movies of the 80s when he was in his prime or whatever don't you think that's harkening back to that whole thing whole thing of what being trapped in the 80s like the whole mockumentary aspect of it shows that behind the scenes that all the things like the costume design the whole how the no, sound is these these things that they portray behind the scenes by and large are just like that happened during that era itself like it wasn't uh, the casting couch or the whole aspects of uh, whatever like back end dealings or whatever happening there were very matter of fact in that era like it it wasn't or even today it might be there so don't you think everything in this not, movie was kind of like uh, the even the inner workings that are being shown those are being shown like 20 years too late in there don't you think that to be true no it was still like apparent there at that point yeah but the, the yeah but the when, thing when did that uh, that scam happen or scandal that uh, guy who used to do cool jasam sam like uh, aman aman i think his name was aman verma yeah so well, wasn't that around this time um, i don't know around the 2000s or something like that i don't know i mean the whole underworld connection that that are being shown in this movie the whole producer and those were like back in 99 and all that stuff right like yeah so it's, it's not that far off from that uh, time period he started working um, in films in 99 so he only has access to that what i am saying is that even in films like if the if you look even at om shanti om which was like a harkening back to that era of storytelling with with everything like with storytelling with costumes with everything set design with the whole production of it do you think that there are no aspects of that in here like in miss lovely also there are like aspects of those kind there, of like b movies there are obviously i'm not saying there aren't but like it's very very haphazard very like poorly slapdash like kind of way as compared to those which are high production trying to mock or like uh, homage a certain thing right yeah. So and do you Miss think Lovely is doing a different thing than uh, Om Shanti Om. That, yes. That's a different conversation. I'm just, I'm just talking about the aesthetic here. I'm not talking about the content. I'm talking about the form. No, those things go hand in hand. Though I mean, those things are done better in Miss Lovely and Om Shanti Om. Okay. You think? <laughs> I I disagree totally. Like I think it's. it works here also way better. they are doing different things yeah this is taking a place and as compared to this those things I, are again more, i don't think that this is more homage and like 
well i, I guess miss lovely well, more uh, okay let's talk about the aspect of uh, different um uh, archetypes or stereotypes that are being shown in this movie or like different like stereotypes as in like a gujarati producer or something like that the muslim guy huh the muslim guy yeah so do you think any of them are over the top offensive as they would be in a current bollywood movie do you think any of them are played for laughs anywhere in this yeah. movie like what the muslim guy is actually like just in, in being <laughs> villain in that in in what what scene are you talking like, about what was the question again like i'm asking like there are some archetypes and stereotypes in this movie right mm-hmm. from the get go there are mm. but any uh, are any of them as over the top or as offensive as they are in the current crop of bollywood movies or that would have been in that time period or whatever played for laughs and shit like that i'm asking Not the really. the the real question Other is than the women stuff uh, the how women are portrayed in this uh, yeah, i mean that. yeah the women aspect really stands out because even in the production of the movie there's mm. no women at all like in in the back crew or something like apart from the documentary maker there's no other woman to be seen apart from the actresses that's besides the point though i'm what i'm asking is like so that's a stereotype is, it, is like this movie, movie largely unproblematic according to you apart from the whole like i'm i'm, I'm going to say this that the whole love story that was being shown in that apart from that unproblematic again you you're using terms that are very vague and like can be applied to a lot of things in this movie was it uh, over the top uh, offensive and being stereotypes being played for laughs anywhere in this movie the female stereotype that's been done pretty uh, badly i mean i guess it's in service to like whatever yeah so that's again that aspect comes into it like where it's is it pretending to be garbage or is it actually garbage it right is. in that sense it so is it is garbage so i i'm wearing more on the side that it's pretending to be but like i understand your point and okay the the religious aspect of it like you were talking about the well, that's not religious. that's isn't it <laughs> like Aus- waiting for the shot she is auspicious or really like those, those really are, that's, that's a fucking hindu uh, that's a hindu uh, priest right i mean who is hanging out in the set all the time and according to him things are being done and stuff like that who, who knows what he is he doesn't speak it's like, throughout the film it's, it's just like the, it's like, like the modern uh, thing of like people who are devout hindus using whatsapp to communicate like prayers to each other and shit like that it's kind of like that i really like that aspect of it like he's using pdas and shit like that <laughs> in the background no you didn't find it's, that in it's not something like I, i don't understand the relations that you're making or whatever it's it's more like it's just a gimmick that they introduce there like of him is, having a palm top and like counting always and like is that is that a gimmick some was to sas to isn't there, isn't there some sort of like yeah there are a lot of things which where where people uh, name their movies according to the numbers and what not and that sort of aspects still yeah. exist right yeah, so what what's the point the like, point is that it's the the whole insider aspect of it right It's, doesn't it feed into it it's just a caricature or whatever like so as as with any character in this film it's just a code one because it doesn't overstates welcome in scenes and stuff when like uh, those scenes were happening it's just like a minute or whatever the the ending scene that they shoot of uh, the son's death or whatever in that mm. he's just holding a finger there was a little easter egg in there as well like the guy who was playing dead there mm. he he was the muslim guy who was playing earlier <laughs> playing the muslim guy out there so that was funny to see like <laughs> what did you think about the whole uh, white saviorism kind of aspect of it like she is going to come in here and like she has more reverence for this bollywood actor than actually people in bollywood do or something like that well obviously she would because she has seen just a side of the uh, story right like Yeah, but what do you not think that there are, there are a lot of people out there who even even Indian people who live abroad, right? Who are mm. born and bred abroad, they have more of a reverence for shit Bollywood movies mm. than 
actual Indian people are likely to be because we are inundated by them and they are only experiencing them as some sort of exotic thing, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't care about that as well. Like, yeah, but uh, don't you think that it's applies it's to her character as well because she sees... Yeah, that's, that's what I said na, initially. So, that's a moot point. We do. Yeah, but uh, don't you think that it, even if it wasn't intentional, the whole... Uh, towards the end the whole love story angle that was being applied to the actor's son and the documentary maker that's obviously intentional yeah but that don't you think that kind of no intentional as in do you think that her becoming a writer on the movie essentially her suggest su- suggesting something and changing the movie don't you think that it's kind of like that that aspect was really added on because they wanted to make this movie more palatable or something like the uh, like the whole documentary aspect, the whole movie as within a movie aspect, playing on to the whole. I just King of Hollywood couldn't really care about those aspects. Okay, it it was about that guy, and then you turn it and like somehow it's about uh, like his, his son. <laughs> I, I don't I don't buy that. Okay, uh, I think I've just exhausted all the topics that I wanted to talk about. So. Let's talk about what was funny in it. What what parts did you really like? It was only that Baba thing and like the scenes that they actually show of the movie. I'm more intrigued by the movie than like I want to see this piece of trash rather than this <laughs> actual movie mockumentary that's been shown to me. You know. You didn't think that this mockumentary was as much a piece of trash as the movie purported movie that was inside it. There are different kinds of trash. Like, that's more like a Gunda-esque kind of trash, the movie that they're making. And so, I don't know. It's, it's, and that too, like, done, done up, like, as it never would be done in Indian movies, right? Nobody would actually take a piss out of these things. Yeah. Have you ever seen any movies that that have actually had those, like, some guy just playing in the middle of the film <laughs> as a female character suddenly? And just dying. <laughs> I, mean, I would say that we have a huge gap in our knowledge when it comes to like movies up until the nineties. Mm. Okay, so we don't know no, what but like sort those, of those sort of transitions that are happening in this film, right? Like yeah, in, I've in seen changing. those happen. Yes, I've seen those things happening in older movies. Yes. No, I yeah, those, like Bollywood those produces those what those like three hundred happen in thousand like, movies or something. I don't know what what quantity of movies Bollywood produces every year. So. It has been constant no, since. It, it's like the leaps that the guy takes in the movie, like the the Om Puri character. It's like just uh, remove the female character and just get a guy and like we'll just kill him and like we'll have the baby thing go go as it would or whatever. I, I don't see that happening ever. Like how I would, would you even see that happening? Like it's it's designed as an obfuscating mechanism in the in the movie itself. Like it's. It's, her face is not being shown or whatever like it's no but it's very apparent from the voice and stuff right yeah. like, no. there weren't these kind of tricks at that point like when, when this is being shot or whatever it's it's supposed to be surreal it's supposed to be like heightening the heightening whatever actually happens no, but my point being I'm, I'm more interested in that garbage story that he's trying to tell that <laughs> it's it's very intriguing to me somehow isn't it funny to like the whole uh thing where he's going on to that entertainment show and he's talking about how it's the there's also aspects of language in this movie which I really like because of the fact that it seems like people who are not really anglophiles or something like they they would speak like this I mean obviously Omburi was an anglophile as such they did do like a couple of foreign or British movies yeah yeah uh, okay the, the point being like he's blaming like foreign powers or whatever there that his movie was a flop because of like other nations or whatever no I think it was uh, the other way around right he was blaming the Indian or my uh, audiences no, essentially so that, that sort of like throwaway lines which exist all throughout this movie I really enjoyed that aspect of it because we have seen Hmm. Bollywood try to justify their horseshit with these kind of like platitudes a lot 
his his whole wardrobe again is like hilarious to me like what what he wears <laughs> Yeah, the, so that's that's the thing, right? I would like to see this movie that he's making with these kind of idiotic wardrobes and how worse they get. Like throughout the movie, <laughs> as a like a full I think structure. I think thing. leaving that to the imagination is a lot is a better trick than actually showing it because it's I'm not showing it in this sense. I'm just saying if. I buy into the fiction and I am in that fiction and like I I want to see this garbage. You can already see this garbage. Like watch any any like huge I, big I budget know, production. I don't, I don't know if those kind of costumes change and like. Have you seen robot? St- Have you seen any like big budget like Shah Rukh Khan movie? Like it, it's. It's kind of the same, but it's not. Those are still. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think if any movie is not kind of like taking the piss out of it, out of that like thing. No, yeah. Or, or I'm, I'm more talking about the caricaturization in this film, right? Like yeah. that's that's what I'm in for. You, the the you other are, movies are actually being genuine in their portrayal or whatever, right? Like the robots or whatever. Hmm. They they are generally trying to cater to an audience that they have catered to throughout their lives. So it's, it's, what you are uh, saying is that they are producing garbage, but it's well-tuned garbage designed for people, and so it's not. Garbage. No, no, it's 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 not from a disingenuous place like this is right. This is not from a disingenuous place either. No, in in the fiction it's not, but like uh, yeah. in like the meta fiction it is. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't think that it is okay. okay uh, but, uh, uh, so another aspect of it is like the part where he says that he is like freedom fighter. he was a freedom fighter and that's <laughs> that line why it exists in there like the whole aspect of like the doc mockumentary where she is asking these questions to him off camera essentially mm-hmm. and he is justifying it those reasons you didn't find those reasons funny no not really i, I didn't care because I, i i personally didn't ask that question in my head if it was a freedom fighter or whatever because i i didn't give a shit about that <laughs> Why? What? Why? Why didn't you give a shit about that? Because I'm, why, it was way towards the end that scene happened. Yeah, what you didn't about? think any of the uh, scenes from the movie which were being shown in like stretched as in in you. that in that uh, scenes uh, I was kind of engrossed uh, till then like the don't you think that like like, like these that yeah happened. these South Indian guys on a motorcycle just coming in just shooting up no, that and, like <laughs> no the question she asked there is is. Uh, you know the female character yeah, i mean the, that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about the scene itself like w- w- how where it comes from and why it exists and yeah. why are the south indian people coming in like and and their reaction that being shown there like after shooting the woman yeah. uh, that's all hilarious to me like i would yeah that's the thing right those set but it's hilarious to me only because of the fact that it's within this context of the mockumentary otherwise it wouldn't be as hilarious to me because if it if if someone made this movie sincerely as you were talking about like with not robot not sincerely no 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 my thing is with it is like you could have just introduced a interviewee interviewer kind of relationship with those people and not okay. have the mockumentary aspect and just show everything else that you were showing around i think it i think without within, uh, Not within much. within within the context of the mockumentary, I think it allowed for the camera to do like so many different tricks around the characters, which it I don't think it would have been possible within the con- context of like a restrained uh, framing of a conventional no, movie. Don't restrain it. That's what I'm saying. You can just show the back end. I don't think it would have worked. Show the back end. There was one scene in uh, in the movie where the camera is like roving around these two characters while they're having conversation. That's very really bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it, it's. I'm not talking about the quality of the shot itself. I'm talking about it wouldn't have been possible within the context of a regular conventional movie. Because you have two camera setups. Like it doesn't matter. Like you don't have to do the whole revolving bullshit. You. Yeah, but that's that's all commenting on the fact that how there's there's one scene where uh, commenting on the fact of what. that that this is not reality that this is like this is some sort of like uh, attempt at making it more interesting than it is you you there's there's one scene where he uh, where uh, omburi's character he goes off to some place and there's he doesn't appear on set for a few days where where you see uh the documentary maker she comes in on the set and she asks the cameraman that you are already here right mm-hmm. and she has that like 
thing with the cameraman as well like he's already there and recording everything that he can yeah but that was established from the get go though yes, he, but he's really good or whatever <laughs> it's very <laughs> like half as it were but like I don't it doesn't don't it doesn't matter okay you, you could have just eliminated that part or those lines it wouldn't hamper the story at all well my uh, thing here is in this movie that i choose to believe that every part of it was intentional I, okay apart from I the whole love story love story thing was superfluous and it could have been everything was superfluous yeah, but, but like, do, don't you think that the ending was quite good like where it ended because it Whatever. shows like her uh, his wife also being swept up into the whole horseshit thing like she well she was swept up into the horseshit thing from the get go right like yeah but all of these people was... apart from like the ompuri's character mm-hmm. all of these people who are opposing him from the beginning mm-hmm. they get pulled into it by the end and they're all part of it like i don't do think that was at least like a worthy note to end on like it could have ended so much worse the movie especially where I it was going in the last half worthy or whatever it's just serviceable at that point right like it's just it, it just didn't come out bad is all you're saying there yeah it could have been so much worse yeah, that, right? yeah it could have it's based on what fine. came like it's 15 fine. minutes before like it's, it's fine it's not it's not going to win any awards like it uh, uh, like that's what the aim of the movie should be to win awards so like like I mean, it's, the award show in the movie itself like that sort so of award it's, it's it's not a great piece of work right like it's not worth noting is what i'm saying it's, it's just personally and it in a serviceable manner is not a you know i personally i personally really liked it i think it's one of the best bollywood movies of like the past decade or so okay. two decades okay i put it on the box Yes, yes, put this on the box seal, and give it an award and seal it. Okay. And I put a camera in it and say it's a mockumentary. Yeah. How many I bags of popcorn? They want to give it. Let's okay. just go along. Five bags of popcorn and two large sodas. Yes. Yeah. I, I think okay. that's where we should end it. Okay. I, I thought it was really good, and you didn't think it was good at all. So. Not. in that sense like it's not good at all but like it's whatever it's serviceable it's fine it's i would like the road i would recommend you, sh- you should watch quick gun morgan if you can find it i mean even it's, on the subject I mean, of finding this movie you probably won't be able to find it anywhere because it's, it's on vcd somewhere i don't yeah i, I mean that's also out of stock i checked it and okay. it's not it's not available anywhere it's on the internet somewhere it it was on youtube until like 2013 when youtube was doing this uh, No, YouTube wasn't doing it. It was yeah, like it was most the, publishers or yeah. whatever were putting it up. Yeah, so they've they've started like uh, all of them have started their own streaming services and shit. So yeah. probably it will appear sometime there, maybe. But right now, it's uh, if you search for it, you might be able to find it somewhere on the internet. But it's not available through so any. Note down the means. keywords. Note down the keywords now. Like no, no, don't. <laughs> don't don't do it. Um, uh, again like on on that topic like I'm talking about like Quick Gun Morgan which I also really liked. I don't think that's available. Anywhere. That's that's uh, not available anywhere at all. I saw that in this uh, when it was released. I think you recommended it years ago like I couldn't find it then. So yeah, so on that note goodbye. Hey Ram, ye kaun hai?